I did not follow this properly, but I feel it's very uh, important at the end, actually. First, for preparing notes, you should have complete faith in what your teacher is saying. That is really important. And I used to maintain like two separate notes. Like one is like short notes, which we prepared for uh, the final revision, in which we write the important formulas and all. But in the main notes, which I prepare, first we'll write down what the teachers are saying and what we understood of that. And some topics when you're reading, you'll get some doubts, which you get them repeatedly. So what I did was I used to write what the explanation my uh, teacher used to give for uh, any doubt I get in the notes itself. At the point where I got the doubt, I used to write what doubt I got and what was the explanation given by, uh, by sir. We used to give many weekly tests also. So after weekly test, we maintained a separate error notebook actually. After the exam, I did not follow this properly, but I feel it's very uh, important at the end actually. I felt uh, this could be included in the original notes itself. So everything will be in one place. So you can see what doubts you got, what errors you made in exams and everything will be in one place. If it's in one place, it will be really good. And for short notes, also uh, the main formulas uh, which uh, like are more than the formulas, I felt I uh, noted down the errors only actually. So errors are really important actually. So uh, you make uh, errors repeatedly in the same places, in the same uh, questions or similar questions. So knowing what errors you make and how to rectify those is really very important. If that is there in the main notes, then uh, when you are revising it, uh, it will be really helpful. Actually. Okay, okay, Karthik. Uh, thank you. This is very important actually. I uh, bar students ko bolta hon, I repeatedly tell students ki whenever you are done with the exam, try to write the complete solution of each and every question you have faced in any mock paper. So then actually you are able to you know identify what are your weak points, what are the topics you don't know and try to go back to your main notes and then find out what are the concepts which you know you, you are lagging you know. Lagging in the sense sometimes you know you just don't know the concept, sometimes you are committing the error बच्चो दोबारा एक बार सुन लीजिए ही इज सेइंग मैं दोबारा बताता हूं शॉर्ट नोट्स बनाने होते हैं मेन नोट्स बनाने होते हैं और एक एरर नोटबुक होती है हर मॉक पेपर के बाद दीस थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आर देयर ओके और शॉर्ट नोट्स में बच्चों वैसे तो कई बच्चे शॉर्ट नोट्स में फार्मूलाज ही यूज करते हैं बट कार्तिक के सिंस ही इज टॉप रैंकर तो कार्तिक के के शॉर्ट नोट्स में फार्मूलेस को थोड़ी कम अहमियत दी गई थी कार्तिक के के शॉर्ट नोट्स में अगेन फॉर्मूलेस की जगह एरर्स ही ज्यादा उन्होंने मेंशन किए थे ओके क्लियर